Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to my garden. Well, guys, this has been the most abundant garden I think I've ever had in my life. It's been so abundantly that it's produced me to have to can constantly and pick and can and pick that I haven't even been able to take you along and show you the garden as it grows. Here is some items I'm picking out this afternoon. No, this morning, excuse me. Usually it's the afternoon I'm coming out. Morning and afternoon. I'll be back out here in the afternoon because I've also got um, some tomato worms that started up. So I've got to be definitely watching my tomatoes, which they wasn't there in the afternoon, came out the next morning, and voila. Well, so I've got some tomatoes here. The tomatoes are starting to come off. I did have a problem with bull's eye rot. It wasn't bloom uh, in rot. Check out that video so you can learn about that because I never heard of it, but I learned by experience. Gave some information, detailed information about that. I've got some different varieties of peppers here, banana peppers, bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, uh, Hungarian Spanish peppers, uh, small winter squash, and uh, these type of squash. I've, I've never grown them before, but I won't be growing these type anymore. It starts with a P. But I want to take you along into the garden with the rattlesnake beans some people call them rattlesnake beans some people call them rattlesnake pole beans rattlesnake snap uh string beans snap beans string beans these beans are going to definitely be my go-to bean in less no is see yeah in less than a week tomorrow make a week i have picked this is my going to be my sixth bucket a five gallon bucket of rattlesnake beans and i haven't finished picking in here so let me take you along and show you what these beans look like up close. So here is the rattlesnake beans. These I haven't picked yet. And uh, some of them get a lot bigger than that. These are definitely ready to pick. And you'll notice that on they got like a little purple stripes. Once you uh, cook those, the purple stripes will go away. But also these are the ones that got hit by the sun. The sun will create this purple stripes right here and uh so you'll see some of them that do not have the purple stripes on them and uh definitely some in here to to pick now you'll notice that i don't have as many leaves in here my rows are close together and um so as these were growing uh and i got them on cattle panels as it was growing, I was trying to wrap around, trying to wrap around uh, the vines, but it didn't work because the plants are so tender. But what, as it was, they were growing, I wouldn't be able to get in here if it wasn't for the fact of taking the leaf, some of the leaves off, and that produced a good airflow through here. And also, I was able to pick these rattlesnake beans. Now. The rattlesnakes will continue producing and I'm just kind of watching the heat. It's hot and humid here, but six buckets. That's almost a full bucket and I'll, I'll go through here. Usually what I do is I go through here and uh, two or three times because I find out that I miss a lot of beans. So I believe it's good they get their name because of they wrap around, they, 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 they're like a vine. Well, they are a vine, but they wrap around. And the reason I go two or three times is because they have a tendency to camouflage themselves. You go, I went through here and kind of um, with a fine tooth comb, and then I turn and go right back, and I'll see more beans because they have a tendency to hide themselves. Now the reason I took the, some of the leaves off is because they were so clustered the leaves up under there. The leaves wasn't doing anything except producing leaves. And so with all the rain that we've had, um, that enabled me. I was out here in the rain picking these beans and uh, I was able to see them and go ahead and get them done. So it was really nice and I will definitely be growing this variety of beans again. You see... You see how this is kind of grown over. I just kind of let it because they, overnight they'll connect themselves. And there's blooms up under there. Lots of blooms. And uh, this is the, the most wonderful string bean I think I've ever seen. You see, I came through here and there's one 
right there. So I just want to show you this. Uh, these are the most delicious beans. Actually, for lunch, I had some stream beans, small cherry tomatoes, potatoes from the garden, and uh, some canned butter. Check out the video of canning, uh, how to can butter that I did. And uh, what else did I have? Oh, cucumbers. So, some cucumbers from my garden. Watch out. Watch out, y'all. You know, I got, I got my animals in here. And so, guys, if you're interested in growing a string bean, this will be your go-to bean. Even though I pulled a, tons of leaves off of these um, rattlesnake beans, they still got, they keep producing more leaves. And uh, it enables me to be able to really see those beans to go through there. Even though, like I said, I go through here two or three times to uh, pick every two days. And uh, let's see, every two days, two days, or go to two days and then go to the next morning and um, to pick these beans. There, I'll be back out here. I'll probably, we'll see. I don't know how many beans I'll probably get. Maybe, maybe. Maybe another half a uh, half a bucket. So this is uh, definitely going to be my go-to bean. I would definitely um, trying to get through these squash here. Definitely be planting these again. Next time I'll go up a little higher. What uh, these right here? I had um, garden peas. Had a ton of garden peas this year. I had uh, garden peas planted here, and then I went ahead and sowed. These rattlesnake beans figured by the time the garden peas were going to be getting out of the garden, then uh, the rattlesnake beans probably should be up pretty high. There was about six to eight inches. And as soon as I took those uh, garden peas out, because of the heat was getting to them, the rattlesnake beans just took off. And it was really was nice to, to walk through here because it would just like shade. But if I left all those leaves, I would never... I'll probably maybe be missing a lot of beans, but definitely next time I will be taking some of these leaves out that also produce a good airflow. Because all your plants you want airflow because especially with rain, they're you know in heat, susceptible to diseases. At the top, they just keep on twisting and turning and I tried to make them go my way, but they're just doing their own thing. I finally just gave up trying to make them go the way I want them to go. And so next time I'll try to go up a little bit higher, hopefully go up a little bit higher, give them a little bit more height. But it did pretty good because once it vines over like that, it just wraps itself around each other and vines over. And usually what I'll do is I'll take this right here and I'll just go and stick it back in there and let it stick in every it's trying to stick to everything let it uh let it start twisting around and i'm not going to try to force this because it's so tender it would just end up breaking anyhow so these squash i've got to get out of here um i've been trying to watch i did gradually with the string beans Planting my rows close together has been dynamite. Um, it, I have had I haven't had a teal. Uh, I haven't had hardly any grass. These are the small winter squash. I got to get them out. But the squash plants are it got that mildew on them, and I've been watching these squash, and it's just it's just time to get them out of here. Even though the, the plants look great uh, from a distance, it's just time. Rattlesnake beans, definitely going to be planting these again not only did they grow good grow fast i took and um, planted these about six to eight inches apart basically about six inches apart i put triple 13 uh, nitrogen fertilizer to them and um that's pretty much it kept them watered they just pretty much took care of themselves just took off growing and uh the beans have just multiplied abundantly so it's hot and humid out here. I mean, especially when it just did a great downpour. I'm going to go and put some shorts on and get back out here. And then I'm going to show you how many rattlesnake beans that I get off of this picking. Six. This, this is almost full. So I might as well go ahead and count this as six um, five-gallon buckets 
and tomorrow will make seven days. That is awesome. Just totally mind-blowing awesome. So I can't even imagine if I had more rows than this. This is plenty. Just, uh, just more than enough, but just right also because if you're canning, then that gives you the option of canning or freezing them. I prefer to can because I live here onto the east coast of North Carolina into a hurricane zones and we're into hurricane season here into June and I just uh yeah I just don't like putting um I mean I got stuff in the freezer but I tried to constantly get it out because there's nothing like going through a week or two weeks without any power um, coming in the house unless you got solar uh, generator but you know then if you have a generator you got to worry about the gas and I've stood in gas lines I just uh, last uh, one hurricane it wasn't a hurricane we had some kind of rainstorm that came in and just knocked the it, it wasn't expecting it, it was supposed to hit somewhere else hit our area where I was living at then and it just flooded all the every road out and we was out was was without power for a week and uh, nobody was expecting it and I just I learned from that lesson I try to take life as a learning lesson and so um, yeah I just started so I was sitting in the, the line of getting gas for the generator for the food I just emptied the freezer out and said you know what I'm not doing this uh, so that le learning lesson which I didn't have a whole lot um, that learning lesson taught me to try to not to keep that freezer overstock, but learn a new method. And that's what I would like you to do is try to learn different methods, which so dehydrating, um, freeze drying, have a uh, uh, have a freeze dryer, uh, panning, some other option to just put all your food into one basket. Okay, guys, let me go get some shorts on, and get out here, and get some string beans. So I did get a bucket, a half a bucket. Um, we got a storm that's rolling in again, and it should probably be here in maybe probably about 10 minutes. Um, so if I didn't finish this bucket up because I had to stop, but I did get a half a bucket. So um, definitely there'll be some more ready in the morning. And uh, if I was to base it on that, I would say, what, how many buckets have I got? Five, six? Uh, if I was to pick tomorrow morning, depends on the weather, I would say I have seven buckets in seven days. Now that is absolutely dynamite. So what I'm going to do, I'm watching that storm. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, continue picking as long as I can. And then I'll probably just uh, let them rest. Because uh, by looking at the beans, I, I think I can go two more days or pick in two more days, maybe. I don't know. I mean, there is some on there. There's probably lots more I could pick. It just depends. I'll look at it in the morning time. But rattlesnake beans. These are your rattlesnake beans. Okay, you will have some because the sun hits them. They'll be purple. This is just a small one. We hadn't picked it because it just needed to be picked. Um, but yeah, rattlesnake beans. These are delicious beans, and uh, I usually just look at them, look at the bean to see, look at the size and everything. I don't want mine to get too big. This one's one I found that um, obviously got overlooked because they camouflaged herself, but that's a good mess right there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you so much. Please hit that like and share and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll know when I'm loading up the next video well yep going back to the garden and get out as much as i can in this garden it's not even gonna be 10 minutes it's starting to rain all right guys thank you so much and have a wonderful day and god bless